So I missed recording a lot of the actual soldering of the boards, but that's okay because it wound up being a really frustrating mess. Once board number two started going bad, everything just got worse with it and every little thing became this massive struggle for me to uh, try and overcome, whether it was a little piece of wire I needed falling to the floor or just any stupid thing like that. And the more I tried to fix board two, the worse it seemed to get, so I just had to back away completely. Uh, then I wired up board 3 which is the one that Elliot sent me pre-done and that has or had a couple strange little issues. Board 1 went pretty well but there was a weird timing issue and I wound up fixing that so let me actually show you the boards here and I'll show you what's going on. So right now this is board 1 driving these four LEDs here they're set to the slowest speed or happen to be set to the slowest speed at the moment and that is this board right here what was going on with this one was that all four would go and there would be a blank as if there was a fifth LED plugged into the unit and there wasn't and then it would reset back to zero or back to one rather and, and it turns out what I had done wrong was that number five right there which is the reset jumper lead which leads back to uh, I think it's this blob right there a little bit of solder from this was sitting on jumper six so it was treating six as the return and five as if it was a blank or if it was an LED and if you look close there you can see a little bit of solder on number six and that was actually connected to number five so that's the only problem with this board that I did it at the same time I did number two hoping that I'd get similar results or figuring I would I don't know if that was a pipe dream or not but it definitely didn't work out that way with board number two which is the little guy over here let me get that powered up and here we are with board two two out of three LEDs there are lit I've tried two different LEDs flipping both polarities neither of them work so I'm guessing it's not the LED, but I haven't made a 100% uh, look at that. The brightness works, so I can dim that. There is no speed change, of course. Let's take a look at the board itself. Yeah, so that trace leading to the capacitor alone is a really good example of how bad uh, everything started falling apart on this one. And it was largely my own fault for doing a lot of uh, hanging out with the solder too long because it just wasn't heating properly but everything else was still getting hot this fat resistor here those legs simply would not heat up or solder at all it was amazing oh and yeah, so I can get some really nice close-ups with this camera overall so yeah, all the solder along these lines here is either accidents that I kind of had to spread out or uh, it's also weak trace points as well, which were likely largely my fault. And here we are looking at the 4060. Nope, oh, that's not connected there, these two guys. Oh, I can't even get my finger in the shot, it's so tight. <laughs> So those top two pins on the right, uh, I thought maybe those were caught together, but they're not. Reset is on there. Capacitor is facing the chip, the correct direction. I think that is not a crossover there, but let's confirm it. Nope, not touching. Here's where I took a bit of wire from the uh, variable resistor to the transistor on that third leg. In between there, it looks like the middle and that outer leg may be touching, but they aren't. I made sure of that.
so here's a look at board number three We've got LEDs one and two nothing LEDs two and three repeat uh, the only thing I've done here is to re jumper from uh, all to number four the leads themselves are pretty clean overall everything looks to be thoroughly attached as far as all the uh, the uh, traces go nothing appears to be crossing over anywhere but I've only taken a look at it two or three times now really close up so maybe if I do a couple more looks I'll find something so that is board number three let me set up board number one the successful one But overall, this whole thing still has a very blobby uh, nature to itself. I did component by component, so um, I did the capacitor on both boards, and then I went back and did the variable resistor on both boards, then this capacitor, then so on and so forth. And uh, this one came out pretty good overall. There's still a little trouble, like the trace leading up to the capacitor there. Uh, where else? It wasn't this transistor that had problems, but yeah, this one went together pretty well. And it works, so that's definitely a good thing. And here's a look at the back of board number one. I put the resistors on this side because I learned from doing the resistors on board two that the bodies were too big and getting in the way. You'll see when I get to that board. A little bit of shrink wrap around those wires definitely makes things a lot neater. So there's the three boards. I'm glad I got number one going and number three is uh, interesting in its own right and I might even be able to use it as is if I can't figure out what's going wrong with it. Then board two, like you said, I'm going to strip it down, see what's left of it, see how much of I can salvage and then uh, try a new chip. That's my last guess now is that I burnt one or both of them out while I was doing it. But we'll see. Probably not. I know one of them, when I was doing some testing, the chips were getting exceptionally hot, like blisteringly. So uh, the capacitor was too on one of them, but another one I was running, it was fine. So maybe I crossed something somewhere at the time, or I don't know what. But that's a possibility I'll look into. So I just got very distracted and taken away from the work for an hour now, and I have no idea where I was. The short of it is that uh, I need to redo board 2 completely. I need to troubleshoot board 3 a little bit. However, board 1, the one right here, is going fine. So as that's the case, I'm going to get moving on this project because I don't want to get held up troubleshooting stuff that I'm not sure about at this point. So we're going to install this board and get the LEDs hooked up and start to get things flashing on this model.